previous episode, I showed you the latest AI developments and met with specialists in this field. In this episode, we will focus on IoT drones tools used in the public spaces. We will talk with industry experts and I will ask how these technologies are transforming our cities. Tell us how to protect our cities against uncontrolled drones. So thank you for this interesting question, which is very popular now in Europe. So for cities, we offer two solutions. One of them is a drone tech scout. That's a stationary system that you put onto your rooftop, like critical infrastructure. And whenever there is a drone flying in your area, we show you the position, but position of the drone, but also position of the pilot in our application. So as long as there is a airspace violation, you can just go find the pilot and tell him not to fly there. But you have something different in your hands. That's correct. So the system we have in a stationary version, but we do have a portable, which is battery powered and with audible notifications. So this is primary for public safety, like police, firefighters, emergency response. Anyone who needs to fly drones or protect airspace from drones can also utilize this portable solution and it has the same interface, the data in fact actually mesh together so you can combine both for extended coverage. Imagine music festival, you want to protect, protect it against rogue drones, you can use combination of both systems to get extra coverage. It's pretty interesting, we use a few onboard sensors to be able to uh, detect follow and then safely intercept a rogue drone from unwanted area. Um, from what we have been seeing in the past uh, two months, there are quite a few drone incidents uh, happening, mainly around airport or around uh, border crossings. So this is one of the very few systems which can physically remove the unwanted drone from airspace without uh, damaging either the targeted drone or uh, any surrounding infrastructure. Uh, what is the main client of this kind of system plus drones? Uh, the main uh, client for uh, these uh, systems uh, is uh, basically um, critical infrastructure. So your factories, uh, power plants, uh, uh, airports, border crossings and uh, some government buildings as well. Hi Stefan. Hi Sebastian. How are you? I'm fine. How IoT and Edge really make difference in cities? How those two areas cooperate together? So it will depend on the application that you are focused on. If I want to give you a concrete example, we can perhaps just to, to have a, a see of one of our partners, which is a Parkery, which is a smart parking solution in the cities. Advantech today is a hardware manufacturer and we are working with a lot of ecosystem around us for different kinds of applications for smart cities. You need some people counting for safety, for traffic management, and parking management is part of it. So in parking management, we are used normally to have sensor on the ground, you know, where you put your car and then they know if there is a car or not, or it can be on the top. But uh, when you have a lot of park, it's costing a lot because it's a lot of device to install, to connect and, and to connect. There is another technology which is using camera for this because sometimes you have already on the big parking some CCTV camera, which is already there. So you can leverage the stream of these cameras and to have some AI running on it. So for example, here, Parkery, if you look to the demo, they are using an advanced platform, which is a x86 platform, which is a MiG-770, where we have inside a GPU uh, with NVIDIA chip inside, which is a A4000 or 2000 here, I, to be double check, which allow you then to run the Parkery software on it, which is capable to identify, without any settings that you have to do, the presence of the car, if it is free or not, then they can bring the information to a panel which will say, okay, on the right you have uh, the 10 pieces available, this one or not. And for the manager of the parking, they are able to know how long a car stays on one place. Does he pay correctly the fee to stay so long or not? Does he park on an electric uh, vehicle charging station? How long? Uh, and so there is all this bridge which is done thanks to IoT device, which is not a sensor here, but which is a camera. Uh, but it's working like a sensor and bringing a different kind of uh, solution for the operators and also for the user. Paul, what IoT brings to cities? Well, I think IoT, you know, so we're the DALI Alliance and DALI brings uh, sustainability and future-proofing to city planners uh, because we have so many members that are producing these interoperable products, then it can bring 
the, uh, the, the future proofing, the interoperability between different manufacturers. That's one benefit. The other benefit is probably uh, that uh, you know, the data and the diagnostics, maintenance and planning, all of these things can be uh, synchronized and organized much more better because you have access to this information. We have fill level sensors that uh, measure the fill level in waste bins and based on the fill level the company can pick up the waste um, only in full bins and not in half full bins or empty bins. So that means it saves a lot of time for the cities and also uh, a lot of um, CO2 emissions because they really drive only to the bins that are really full and need to be emptied. How many parameters is measured? Is only one or there are much more parameters that you can measure through your IoT device? Um, there are much more like temperature, location, um, shocks and, yeah, and fill level in two different um, technologies like ultrasound and time of flight. As a summary of the second day during Smart City Expo Congress in Barcelona, I would like to highlight one, the most important point. I is everywhere, from the infrastructure to City Hall, finally among residents. We have to remember that we cannot feel fear, we should be brave and implement trial, proof of concepts, and finally learn a lot. How smartly, intelligently implement AI among different solutions that really change our cities. The future without AI, I think, is impossible, so be smart.